My name is Corey Shaughnessy and I went to Ecuador. I'm Hannah Iwan and I went to Ecuador. And last year it went all according to plan and everything was set in stone. It went perfectly, everything lined up. This year it wasn't so much like that. It was all completely different from what I expected. We were all working on our third work day on Wednesday and then one of the interns and some of the people that lived there came running towards us and they were all like, fire, fire. I saw some smoke and I thought they were just like burning away like part of the forest, I guess, as like um, sort of like a prairie type thing where you burn it down so it can regrow again or something like that. But like, as I went on, I started to realize that this was a pretty big fire. So I grabbed my stuff, run towards there. By the time we got to the fire, I was like heaving and huffing because the altitude. They told us basically um, that to get like machetes and shovels and make like a three foot path up the side of the mountain to connect to another trail so that like the fire couldn't spread further. It was really crazy. I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm already so out of breath, but then just seeing everybody up there working together as a team. One of the things I was really impressed with the fire was the amount of teamwork that was going on. And finally when it came time it was like to the point where we could not be there anymore. The fire was getting closer so we just all ran down to the nearest house and prayed and yeah it was it was scary but it was definitely like we all got brought together closer to God also. The rest of the week kind of we looked at it on a brighter side especially with the landslide that came right after we were all like like there was a fire, now there's a landslide, we got this, like it's fine. And we were all so bonded by that time anyway. On the trip I was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to get baptized. And then all this stuff started happening and I was like maybe God just doesn't want me to get baptized because like just doesn't seem like it's working out. But then it got to the moment and I was like it just feels so right, you know, I'm in this experience. I, why would God not want me to get baptized? So I shared my testimony and um, I was kind of planning on going in the water alone, but then my friends were all like, let's just do this together. And it felt so much better doing it with people around you because they all had like my, their hand on me. And coming out of the water, I felt like a new person. My name is Alex Hartsock. My name is Chloe. And I went to Milwaukee. And I went to Milwaukee. Poverty simulation like totally opened our eyes to like what they actually lived through. It was really scary at first because we had to choose four items that like only four out of our, all of our belongings that we had to like bring with us. I kept my Bible, my blanket, my towel, and I also kept my shoes. It was it was cool to see how like people live like when they don't know when they're getting their next meal or stuff. Yeah. It changed my perspective and how I live. Like I just turning on the light switch, like how totally different that is. Or having a shower, it like feels so clean, but other people don't get that. So you like you treasure things more. It was like scary at first because we didn't know like how to talk to people like who were living in poverty and stuff. But then once you got like used to it, you knew like they're not so different from you besides like where they're living and stuff. When we were in the poverty simulation, we were walking around. You like put yourself in homeless people's shoes, and you would like feel the like people would just isolate you and like didn't talk to you or anything. We all like came much closer to each other, and we feel like. Like we that night we had one very special like night that we all just came together and like prayed a lot and everything and we like could all feel like the Holy Spirit in us and so now we all have like a little bit in like everyone and when we're like together it just feels even like more whole. My name is Megan Andrews and I went on the Mexico mission trip. My name is Sarah Fetter and I went to Mexico. At the Christian school that we were at, um, they would do worship like every day. Uh, they had a head worship guy come in and they would sing in Spanish and like we could, we didn't know the song but we like picked up on it just singing with them. The pool day with the Ninos was a lot of fun because um, a lot of the kids from the barrios, um, they got to come and go to the pool, some of them like for the first time. And sometimes like they would, they would be sitting there nervously and then you'd be like, come on, jump. And uh, then they would just like, it was so cool because they were just like trusting you with everything to catch them. And then once you caught them, they were just like, they had this smile. She was like the, I guess, principal of the school. And she told us that we could go and like lay our hands on them and just bless them, like bless every kid, even though that they didn't know what we were saying. But um, like, we just felt like the Holy Spirit there. And so we blessed them. And then um, after that, they all blessed us. And then we went to Casa Hogar Orphanage. It was really cool to see um, an orphanage.
orphanage that was thriving so much. Usually you think orphanage and you think like run down kids like that aren't happy, but they it looked like they were having the best times of their lives. And so it was really cool to see that. The thing that like stuck out to me the most was probably just working with the kids and seeing that like even though they have really nothing, they can still be happy and that even though there's like a language barrier, we still worship the same God. I am Abby Howitt and I went to Puerto Rico. My name is Grace Maloney and I went to Puerto Rico. My name is Ryan Taylor and I went to Puerto Rico. One of my favorite things was hearing about Pastor Julio's story and the passion that he had for the church and for the mission that he was trying to achieve. It was just so enlightening to see that even though he doesn't have much money and much people in the church that he still has a huge vision. The church we went to down there was so different like it was generally two hours but it was kind of like give or take whatever they wanted and everybody would go in and you would just see like the difference how they would go in and they would hug and like kiss each other on the cheek and like our church is like so mandatory like this time to this time and it was it helped show me like a different way of that they conduct their church and especially with the people and it's hard to just like you can hear things like that and you're like, okay, yeah, that's real, but it's hard to imagine it until you're like there in the moment. I always see God in the children, I think, because I just love children and playing with them. So like in the Bible, it says, like, have the faith of a child. And I can see that through the kids that we teach at um, BBS and just like how enthusiastic they are about the songs that we sing. I'm a very organized person. I like a plan and I like to know what's going on. And especially this week about dreaming, it kind of showed me that God has a plan for me and I just don't know it yet and I just kind of have to keep running with it. It's trying to change my perspective on the gospel and how it's spread throughout the whole globe because you get so focused on like, oh, well, it's in Geneva and it's in Illinois in America but we went to a church service where they praised in Spanish and they were filled with just as much joy and the love of God as we are. And they were in Puerto Rico and it's just, it's really cool to see how even though they have less than we do, they still are just as joyful as us. I'm Corey Shaughnessy. My name is Hannah Iwan. Alex Parsaki. My name is Chloe. Megan Andrews. Sarah Fetter. My name is Abby Howitt. Ryan Taylor. My name is Grace Maloney. And on my trip, I learned that expectations are big. Division is big. Natural disasters are big. Homelessness, language barriers, poverty. I learned that our plans are big. Doubt is big, but God is bigger. God is bigger. God is bigger. God is so much bigger. Don't let your expectations and your plans rule your life. Disasters don't stop the gospel from transforming people. To really understand someone, you need to try to walk in their shoes. It doesn't matter where you live, we're all the same in God's eyes. If you want to share the gospel, you first have to make a personal connection. People that have less than us can be just as joyful as us because of the gospel. It doesn't matter what skills you have. God will use a willing heart. God has a plan, and I don't know it, but that's okay. God is on the move in Ecuador. Milwaukee. Puerto Rico. God is on the move in Mexico and in me. And in me. And in me.